Do you want a combo like Tanker? Hit crazy combos like this? Well, if you do, then stick around for the whole video, because today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how tanker combos and how people that are really good in the game combo and techniques that they use to win almost every PvP fight. And because it's a crystals video, I'm going to be showing you guys some bonus tips because... Yeah, why not? So first up, we got the high ground technique. And basically how this technique works is you get high ground. Now, as you can see, my opponent is, you know, he just respawned. He's coming to me right now. I'm at 56 HP and I have high ground. Now, I'm about to drop down on him, but as I drop down, I swing my sword. Now, because of that, that allows me to hit a really, really good combo that stops him from killing me, even though he has 50 extra HP and I only have 56. Now, that was a good one. And we got a few more clips to show you guys the high ground technique. Now, as you can see here, I'm taking shots with the crossbow. I'm dodging. I'm making sure that I'm dealing extra damage. And then with my jade hammer, I jade hammer up. So that equals high ground. As long as you're in the air and you drop on them, high ground is high ground. And watch how I hit a combo on him. Now that combo wasn't as effective, but what was really, really effective was how I was able to get extra hits on him before we got into that fight. And I'll be explaining that even more later on into the video. So stay tuned. So in this clip, this guy just came out of his base and unexpectedly, I just drop on him and I, and I start to combo him. He tries to run, he just can't escape. Check it out. I deal damage with my crossbow and then right before he thought he was safe, <laughs> I pulled a pearl move because I know that this dude is gonna go inside of that base, get stuff and leave. But because he's low and I have a good sword, I'm gonna make sure that he gets stuck in there and he won't get out until his body is in pieces. <laughs> now check out the rest of these high ground clips. So now before I roll into the next technique, let me just show you guys a bonus tip. And this is what I call pure game sense. Over here, I drop down and I'm about to break this guy's bed with TNT. But he comes down and he's dealing some bad damage on me. I'm about to break his bed, but I just couldn't. So I had to escape. Watch what I do. So I ran, jumped, pearl back and hit him off, bro. That was very overpowered. Now guys, Game sense is a very, very important thing that you need to have in the game if you want to be a good player. And the only way to get good at game sense is if you play the game, all right? In that situation, I saw that I had pearls and I had balloons, right? But in my head, I want to get rid of him as soon as possible, right? Because his bed is exposed. If I just balloon away, what's going to happen is he's going to go back and he's going to put a better bed defense. But if I can quickly kill him and break his bed before he spawns again, it saves me time and it makes sure that I guarantee the win for that match. Now this next clip that I really, really want to show you guys. And basically, I'm ballooning up, right? I'm doing some damage with my crossbow to this guy. But he's a trinity kit and he hits a pretty good combo on me. So what I do next is insane. Watch. Jump off with the jade hammer. Bam, right back. That was what I call game sense. <laughs> so next up, the tip that we got is the extra hit technique. That's what I call it. And basically the whole idea, make sure that you find a way to get the extra hit on the opponent. So whether that being with a snowball, you know, or with a bow. However it is, make sure that they took at least one shot before you fight him because most likely that one shot can be a game changer for you. And you can just see for this clip that I have right over here. This dude built a wall defense. I got a bow and he's pretty far. I have decent amount of arrows. And I'm aiming at this guy and I'm dealing some damage to him right before I decide to fight him. As you can see, hitting some shots. He's trying to hide, but he just couldn't. And then I come in. One more shot and I start hitting him, bro. I'm, I'm start throwing my sword. And that's all I really, really need, you know? Bam, and he's gone. <laughs> this dude actually followed me onto a bridge. He wants to fight me. So what I do is I bait him to follow me even 
even more because originally my plan is to make sure that he falls off the bridge but instead what happens is i deal some damage to him with my crossbow but before we actually engage and i start to fight him and he ends up just falling off the map and for the last example for the extra hit technique we got this dude who wants to challenge me all right i have a crossbow i'm pretty sure it's actually the same guy and basically he wants to challenge me he says dude i want to kill you and i want you to die now i already have a better sword than him which is good for my advantage but i decide you know what i want to secure the kill so i get some extra hits with the crossbow as you can see and what happens is i get an extra hit with the crossbow and he fights me and i'm just finishing off with my sword easy kill so another bonus tip for you guys is use blocks to your advantage as you can see i'm running from a guy who's chasing me and I lead him to a bridge. Now, my plan originally was to block him off with my block so I can escape more. But instead, I place blocks and, well, <laughs> he just he just falls on him. He just trips on him and falls. And before we get into our last technique, here are some bonus clips for you guys where I either avoid death in a good way or some people just decide to fail and, you know, <laughs> fall or, you know, whatever happens. Just check them out. Now, since Bed Wars did update, spamming is actually pretty OP in Bed Wars right now. If you can just aim, as I'm doing in this clip over here, aiming and clicking as fast as you can, you can actually get a good combo as well. And if you combine it with jumping, like as I do in some of these clips over here, then you'll hit an even nicer combo. Now, let's say you're running low on health and you're still fighting the dude. He's still alive. You don't know how much health he has. I mean, he's probably almost about to die. But you're also, also almost about to die. So what you can actually do is hop around the player. If you hop around the player, you make it harder for him to hit you. So while you're hopping around the player, he's looking for you on the screen. He's like, dude, where's this guy? Where's this guy? I'm trying to hit him. And he's stuck until, you know, you kill him. <laughs> and for our last tip, I saved the best for last because this honestly allows me to get so much more kills than I was before. Like, don't get me wrong. I was getting kills before as well, right? But this technique is like a different type of one tap. Basically how it works is take advantage of Bed Wars' new update where if you spam your sword, you can get some nice combos, but it's a combination of spamming your sword and one tap. As you can see in this clip, I have 88 HP. My opponent is charging at me. He has a Jade Hammer. I have a wooden sword. He has a stone sword. Now, to anybody's like logical mind, they can say, yo, I should lose this fight, right? But watch how I combine spamming and one tap together. Check it out. Whew. Now that was a good combo if I'm not even gonna cap, man. Let's roll it back in slow motion real quick. As you can see, my opponent is charging at me. He's coming to me. He jade hammers and he swings. He swings first and he deals 18 damage to me. But even though he swings first, I swing again, and then I'm hitting him. But while I hit him, I'm making sure that my sword is at least near him, or my, or my cursor is next to his body, or on his body, so I can hit a good combo on him. And then after we're, you know, exchanging shots, I start slowing my shots down. So after I've taken at least two or three shots straight up just from, you know, spamming, I finish the rest of the shots with one tap. And he's dead. Easy. Now check out in this next fight, I do a similar thing that I did in the last fight. Just watch it. That was a nice combo. <laughs> Quick extra tip for you guys. If your opponent is standing still or, you know, they're barely even moving like you're faster than them and you one tap them, you don't, you don't, you don't even have to spam your sword. If they're, if they're standing still and you start to one-tap right away and you keep consistently timing your hits, you, you can get a really, really good combo on them. Now in this next clip, my opponent is about to build up because he wants to do the high ground technique on me, alright? He wants to drop down from decently high and hit a combo on me, right? But to demonstrate how powerful the one-tap method actually is if you use it properly, I was able to bypass or completely destroy his high ground technique just by properly timing my hits. Check it out. 
damn he's out now he was kind of dumb he built a little bit too high and then from that he, he was able to take you know some fall damage but still then even then if you if i did not do the one tap method there i probably wouldn't have killed him comment down below your favorite technique out of all of these and you know like and subscribe because if i helped you out i would really really appreciate it you know if you smash the like and subscribe button because it helps me out it helps me grow and it helps the crystals family grow as a whole because at the end i want our family to be the biggest and i want our family to be the best roblox players players or in fact players at any game the best ones so yeah guys enjoy your day or night